Now to a continuing I-Team investigation. Skyrocketing rent is one of the biggest complaints about housing here in Jacksonville. High rent plus a steady flow of new arrivals moving into town are creating what city leaders concede is a housing crisis. Some are pointing fingers at big investors buying up rental properties for profit and ignoring the upkeep. News for Jacks reporter Jim Piggott is joining us live to tell us why some of those investors are crying foul while others say the investors are a problem. Jim? You know, Tom, it's a lot of finger pointing going both ways on this. And earlier this week, or just yesterday, actually, I was telling you about some of the plans that the city is considering in order to address this problem. One is changing some of the zoning laws that would allow them to zone more duplexes and apartments in the urban core of Jacksonville. But we're going to find out more this Friday when a committee comes up with their final recommendations. You don't have to go far to see Jacksonville's housing crisis firsthand. I caught up with Roy as he was going into the Springfield Public Housing Unit to try to get a place to live. Right now, he's sleeping on his sister's couch. I'm looking for, I've been waiting for a year, over about, over about two years now. Two years you've been waiting even to get into public housing as well. What would you say about landlords, rents, everything that's going on? Everything too high, everything too high. That's something this committee looking into affordable housing is trying to change. They've been hearing from various agencies and companies about the problem. At yesterday's meeting, one of its members also took aim at a recent report conducted by the University of North Florida, which questions a number of corporate landlords buying up properties in Jacksonville. In the report, people complained about those landlords jacking up prices and not doing proper maintenance. The study was done last February by Dr. David Jaffe. At a meeting yesterday, Vice Chairman of the Board, Alex Savakis, who is also with JWB, a company that handles thousands of rental homes in Jacksonville, says corporate landlords are not the problem. We're seeing problems with landlords, corporate landlords, mm -hmm. that are basically ignoring properties. It, mm -hmm. It's what it looks like. But you don't think that that's the case. A lot of that, you, you've seen the, the recent reports that we've seen. I mean, is that the case out there or is it not? Well, I think by and large, uh, investors are not ignoring their property because then their property is worthless. So I think, I think most investors are investing their property, they're renovating their property, and they're, they're delivering a better quality of housing. Not to say that everyone is doing that, but I think if you, if you look at the data, the vast majority of investors are investing well in the property and delivering a, a good rental and for sale product. But Dr. Jaffe takes issue with that. He's out of the country and was not able to attend the meeting. Now, I talked to him on the phone today, and he emailed me a statement that reads in part, the business model of corporate landlords is to ensure a high return to shareholders by raising rents, collecting fees, and cutting back on basic maintenance costs, not meet the affordable housing needs of working people. You know, as I mentioned, there is going to be a meeting on Friday where they're going to come up with their final recommendations to give the mayor. Dr. Jaffe, though, won't be at that meeting as well. He's still out of the country and will be back in on Sunday. He really does hope to weigh in on this, on this whole situation. We're live on the South Bank. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.